Chris Aldane, Bassmaster Elite Series Pro here, hanging out with the Wired to Fish crew. And when you think wintertime fishing, the fish are, are real lethargic. They don't move horizontally as much as they do vertically. You know, when the water's cold, 40 degrees, 50 degrees, in some parts of the country, you know, cold might be 55 degrees. Uh, man, I'm a finesse guy. Growing up in California, it seems like more tournaments in December and January have been won on, on you know, finesse tactics than, than the big, you know, Bubba style fishing, I like to call it in the wintertime. So typically in the winter, the, the lakes and the reservoirs are a lot lower than normal. The water's colder and the water's clearer, typically. So um, there's no better techniques, in my opinion, than just a good old standby drop shot rig. And my second choice is a nail weighted wacky rig. And um, just real quick, I'll get into the drop shot and, and, and some of the some of the things I use uh, in the winter time opposed to like a springtime drop shot or fall time drop shot first and foremost is, is the line size I mean in the winter time the fish are cold they don't fight that hard um, you need the most action out of my favorites a KVD dream shot you need the most action out of that dream shot as possible and the lighter the line you go the more action you will see out of the worm you're fishing I like it in a six pound line and that six pound diameter super thin and it has less water restriction uh, throughout the water column so if I'm fishing real deep in 30 40 feet of water um, there's less resistance there and it act and it allows that bait to, to act uh, you know real naturally just the slightest wave of, of you know slightest wind wave on the line will cause that worm to move and another little secret um, especially when you're fishing like a dream shot or any other soft plastic with a flat top to it rig that flat top on the top side so it acts like a little keel there uh, the rounded sides on the bottom that way when it's kind of swimming down there it swims real nice and neat uh, the flat top stays on top and just the slightest little action with that light line will move that bait uh, you know a whole bunch so and then the other key to that drop shot I think is, is going with the round style weight you know when we're talking real cold water we're fishing vertically it's a vertical presentation I like a cherry bomb style weight or a ball style weight a lot of times I'll, I'll idle over channel swings or the backs of these these real deep cut creeks or even against a bluff wall if I find a ball of bait and fish under a ball of bait or over a ball of bait and it allows me to drop that weight straight down it seems like this this style of weight falls a lot faster and a lot straighter than let's say a teardrop style weight or a cylindrical style weight. So, um, you know, a Rochi double X drop shot rod, uh, it's a three power rod, so it's real soft, real limber. And, uh, you know, to, to, to make up for that limberness in the rod, it's a tw it, I use a 20 pound uh, braided line. This is Seaguar Smackdown. It's a true eight braid. It's super, super thin. My favorite technique, hands down, you know, when they're not biting the jerk baits, when they're not biting the red eye shads, is a nail weighted wacky rig. And it's a finesse approach, you know? Um, growing up in Northern California, out there on those natural lakes like Clear Lake, um, it won't only work on natural lakes, but those river impoundments, some of these highland reservoirs, uh, any anytime the water's real cold, the fish don't move a lot. They're not moving horizontally, but moving vertically along, you know, vertical structure, bridge pilings, and and you know, rock jetties or you know, rock cutouts, rock formations, drop offs, things like that. When I can target a group of fish or even sometimes a single fish on a piece of structure, that is the only way to catch them right there. And it's a finesse approach. Again, our six pound Seaguar Tatsu line. A lot of times, um, you know, your eight, your ten, your 12 pound test will really restrict the action of, of, of the, the soft plastic you're fishing. And this is a 30 second ounce nail and I just insert it into the head like so and it just adds weight. Um, it just adds weight to the head of it and basically when it falls this thing will fall straight vertically okay because again that 30 second ounce is in the head it's not going to fall horizontally like a stick bait it's going to fall vertically it's going to fall straight down to that piece of cover i'm fishing in the winter time so i rig it up with a, a size one split shot drop shot hook and another key is is uh, if you look in the center here i'm going to pull the bait back a little bit uh, there's a little drinking straw right there it's a clear drinking straw that i use kind of as a hook harness uh, I just thread it right on, on the worm and uh, it, you know it's a little cut piece of straw I thread it right there on the worm and it just a, it's a little holding place for that for that uh, little size one 
um, a size one hook. And, um, you know, early in the year on tour at Toledo Bend, uh, and this was in the springtime, of course, but I actually caught an eight pound, 12 ounce bass on that exact rig right there with the exact six pound, uh, six pound line, size one hook. I mean, it's absolutely deadly, but especially in the winter time.